Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Coding Charms. In this video, we are going to be solving the problem zigzag conversion. In this problem, we are given with a string which is written in a zigzag pattern on a given number of rows like this. And we have to then read it line by line. So it, this is the zigzag pattern of the given string. And then we have to read it line by line. A P A H N A P L S I I G Y I R. This will be the resultant string after conversion. You have to write the code that will take a string and make the conversion given number of rows. Okay, so we have to, we are given with a string and then we are given with a number of uh, rows and we have to uh, convert it and get the resultant string. So let's take a look at the examples. We are given with this string and the rows. PayPal is hiring and the rows as three. So this will, the zigzag format will be like this if we read it line by line we get this resultant string so we return it and then we have the same string with number of rows as four uh, so this will be the zigzag format and we read it line by line so we get p i n y l s i g l so on so we get that we return that as output if we have the string y and number of rows has one if the number of rows has one we write all the characters in the same row we read it by that row that means the string will remain same so we return the same string so this will be the base condition if we have number of rows has one we can return the string directly so let me write that down if number of rows is equal to one we can directly return the string in the other cases what we have to do we have to mimic this zigzag pattern and find the position get the resultant strings so this looks like an implementation problem there is no data structure or algorithm in, uh, is applied in this problem we have to just find out the uh, indexes of the characters and place them in the right positions to get the resultant string so let's see how we can do that so let me take this example we copy this and paste it over here. Next, let us take this example as well and paste it over here. Okay, so let us see. So after P, we are getting A. So after P, we are getting A. We are skipping some number of characters to get this A. Here also after P, we get I. We are skipping some number of characters to get the next character. Right. Mm. So, how many characters we are skipping? In the first case, we are skipping three characters. In the second case, we are skipping five characters. Here, the number of rows is three, and here, the number of rows is four. So, in this case, we are skipping three characters, and in this case, we are skipping five characters to get the next character. The P index is zero, the A index is four. In between, the difference is three. And here also the same. Um, and again, from A, the next index is H. Again, we are skipping three characters to get H. From H again for N, we are skipping three characters. Uh, here as well, after I, we are skipping five characters to get the next. So we are skipping some amount of characters to get the next character. Uh, so firstly, how, how many characters are, let us count. We are skipping in the first row, we are skipping two characters. We are um, excluding P and then we are skipping the rest of the characters. So, number of rows, we consider all the characters in this row, which means the number of rows. This column, so the number of rows, minus, we exclude P. So, minus one. And in this, this line, uh, we consider this, we consider this. Because we want to get the 8th index, so we include A and P. We exclude Y because we already included before. So plus number of rows minus 1. So we can simply write it as 2 into number of rows minus 2. Okay. Um, so let us call it as cycle. So... We skip this number of characters to get the next characters. Uh, so in three case, two into three minus two into three minus two four. So to get the this is zeroth index, and the next character will be at fourth index. And again, 
we do the same thing. We increment 4 by 4 to get h, which is an 8th index. Similarly, here 2 into 4 minus 2, which is 6. So, p is 0th index. We add 6 to that index to get i. Then again to 6th index, we again add 6 to get the next index. Let's see here. When we get to a in the, the second row, we add 6. Then we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We get to s. But we, here we are skipping the L in this cycle. So, this middle characters, we should find a way to include these middle characters as well. These middle characters are present in the middle, middle rows. It, they are not present in the first row. They are not present in the second row. In the middle where we are having this exact pattern, there only we have some characters which are getting excluded while following this cycle. So we have to find a way to include them as well. There should be another formula to see this. Let us compute that formula. So what are we doing here? So from, uh, let's take this. So from P, we are getting, uh, let's take this condition. From A, we are getting yes, because there is no middle character here. So I have taken the second row. Uh, we are at A and then we go to S. So A is, uh, these are 0, 1. These indexes are 0, 1, 2, 3. The first row will, the first column will have the 0, 1, 2, 3 continuous indexes only. The row, the row will be the index of the starting character. Um, so, firstly, we are at A. So, we have the index as 1. And when we increment it by 5, we go to uh, what we, when we increment it by 6, then we go to the index 7. So, what we do, we do J plus cycle. Then we get this character. Let's say the rows as I and the col the columns, the, the columns as J. So, we are at A and then we add cycle to when, then we go to S. How many characters we have to reduce to get L? We have to re remove S and I to get L. So, it is nothing but minus 2. So, we are at first row and we have to remove minus 2 to get this index. Uh, if we are at the second row, uh, second index row, which means the third row, we are at y and we go to h in the, when we apply cycle and we have to get the skipped character in the cycle. So, to do that, we have to remove 1, 2, 3, 4. In the third row, we have to remove 2. So, uh, in the first, we have to remove 2. And in the second, we have to remove 4. Uh, if you keep on doing this, then in each row, we have to multiply it by 2. Multiply the row number by 2 to get it. The, so the index of the row is 1. And this is second row. And this is the third row. So in each row, we have to multiply this two with two in order to get the row, the number of characters we have to skip to get the middle character. So this formula will be J minus cycle minus two into what? The row index. So row, we took the row index as I. So this will, this will be the formula to get the middle character. So this is the formula to get the next character and this is the formula to get the middle characters in the zigzag rows. So let's code it up. Let me comment this. When we code, it will get more clear. So firstly, um, let us compute this cycle. So it will be in cycle equal to 2 into number of rows minus, minus 2. And we have to take a result string. So result equal to empty string. And then first we add it over the rows. So first i equal to 0, i less than number of rows and i plus plus. Then we add it over this column uh, uh, the values in the rows. So for that j equal to we start at um, here, the index of P is 0, 1, 2, 3, which are same as the row indexes. 
So we start with i, the row index, and we go till string size, and each time incremented by cycle, and we add it to our result. We add the character to our result, and next we have to check for this condition as well. This is present in the median rows where the zigzag pattern exists. So if i the row is not equal to the first row and the row is not equal to the last row number of rows minus one and let's compute the formula and in k equal to what is the j plus cycle minus two into i so we have to check if this k value exists k is less than s dot size then we add it to our result result plus equal to s of k and finally we return the result looks good let us run the code it passed all the sample test cases let us submit it it passed all the test cases so let us discuss the time and space complexity um the space complexity is pretty clear, right? We are using only variables. So the space complexity will be O of 1. Uh, if we exclude this result string, if we include this result string, the space complexity will be O of n. And what about the time complexity? So here we have two nested loops. But if you clearly observe, this loop goes to i less um, 0 to number of rows. And this loop goes to... Uh, S size but in cycle. If you observe, we go to each character only once. So even if we have two nested loops, the time complexity will be O of n. It's like the DFS where we go to each node only once, even though we have uh, nested arrays, uh, nested loops. Here also, even though we have nested loops, we go to each character only once. So the time complexity will be O of n and the space complexity will be O of n as well. So this is for this video. I hope you understood the solution. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and do subscribe to Coding Champs for more daily videos and see you all in my next video. Till then, keep practicing. Bye-bye.